I, th I think three, three main takeaways. Um, the first would be, I think it's just about saying yes to things. And so uh, I, at times, and I remember, remember talking about this when I caught up with Mark um, on, on my first episode or my prior episode, um, you often don't recognise when opportunity is there. And you might see an opportunity and go, oh, is this worth my time and energy? But I think incredible things come from just saying yes and getting involved. And I was, um, my, my first ever experience, Mark Scarce took me to, um, to the Gold Coast for High 21. Um, and I saw, you know, um, on, a, on a sign there, there was um, the young professionals meeting. I, I didn't know anything about it. I, I didn't know too much about the industry at that time. Mark had just taken me away to, to get some experience and have a look at the bit of the product, uh, the products they had on the floor. And um, it, it, it's gone from there in that Mark actually reached out and, and or Mark Simonson, that is, reached out to have me on the podcast. And I sort of thought, I don't know if this is for me. I, I don't know if that's the sort of person that I am. I don't know if I can do it. I said yes. Um, I managed to get through it somehow. <laughs> I ended up making it work. But and from there, he put me in touch with the HRIA. It was Katie Deloria at the time um, to to jump into the Young Professionals Network. And by some sheer miracle, uh, <laughs> I'm sitting here. So it's um, the the opportunity is there, and you, I think you just need to say yes. Uh, a second takeaway I'd say um, is to probably is prioritise engaging with people and getting to know other people. And I was thinking about this this morning. Oh, the word networking is great because it allows you to label um, the action of engaging with people in the industry. But I don't like it because it also makes it feel very um, transactional in a funny sort of way. So I think getting to know people without an expectation that you're going to get something back because a lot of the time it actually fulfills a, a bit of a symbiotic relationship and that you're able to support people and, and, and give back to people along the way as well. So... I, I don't know when I'm, I'm ever going to give back to Bob Mules, but to take that relationship as an example, um, he's given a lot to me and I, I hope one day in some capacity, whether it's business or personal, but I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to support that person in the future and what I'm going to be able to do to support them back. So that's probably get engaged and, and meet and, and interact with many people as you can. Um, and the other massive takeaway is just how fortunate we are um, that other industry members are so willing to share their experience and their knowledge. Um, and to talk about opportunity, there is just so much opportunity there to tap in to that to that knowledge. And we talk about being competitors in this industry, but you know the, the competition falls short in that we're all so willing to share. And this industry is amazing because everyone is always pushing for better. Everyone wants to bring the standards up, and whether that's our practices on site or in the, the quality of the products or the quality of the service or just how we're developing our teams and ourselves as individuals as well. I think that that really, you know, stems from that culture in the industry of, of being so willing to share. So that, that's probably my, my main three takeaways, I'd say.